Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy and this time I'm doing another Top 5 Wednesday. As always, the Goodreads group is in the description below if you want to check that out. This week's topic is our Top 5 Favorite Bromances. So these are platonic, non-romantic relationships between guys. So the first on my list is the band The Heartbreakers from the novel The Heartbreakers by Ali Novak. The guys in the band are Oliver, JJ, Alec, and Xander, and they are just typical teenage guys, and I love it. They are always like goofing around and pranking each other, but they've also got each other's backs, especially since they are really famous teen pop stars, and sometimes the fans get a little crazy. So I totally appreciate how down to earth and normal they are with each other. And it's fun just to watch them goof off and the kind of pranks they play on each other and what it's like when they're not in the spotlight all the time. I just, I adore them. They're like, I would want to hang out with these guys. I think they would be awesome buddies. Next on my list is Ford Prefect and Arthur Dent from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series by Douglas Adams. So in the first book, Earth is going to be destroyed and demolished to make way for an interplanetary highway and Ford is an alien and he decides that he needs to save his best friend Arthur and take him off the planet and then they escape and they start hitchhiking across the galaxy. Hence the title of the book series. I love the fact that Ford even saves Arthur. Like he could have just left. But Arthur means so much to him that he is going to spare this human. Earth, you can, you know, take it or leave it, whatever. But Arthur, Arthur he has to have with him. And I I love that part of their relationship. And I also just love the goofy zaniness of this world and the situations they're put in together and how they um, work with each other and interact with each other. Like, they survive the worst poetry in the universe and getting kidnapped by the president. I just really love the two of them together, like how they they work as a as a group, as friends. It's great. Next on my list is Henry and Eric from the selection series by Kira Cass. Well, specifically from the last two books, The Heir and The Crown. So in this series, we have this bachelor type situation going on where we have all these suitors living at the palace and being filmed and being put on television, and they're all competing to marry the next heir to the throne. In the last two books, Henry is one of the contestants competing to win the hand of the Princess Edelin. And Henry doesn't speak English. He can't communicate with the princess on his own, so he needs a translator, which is Eric. And I love the two of these guys together. Like, all the other guys in here can be petty and mean and fighting with each other. I mean, they have their moments of niceness and some of them actually do make it up being friends with each other. But Henry and Eric are consistently like awesome together, especially as we start making it down towards the end and Edlin's kind of considering one and or both of them. I love how they interact with each other. I love how they've got each other back, got each other's back. I love how Eric tries to help Edlin and the other contestants understand Henry better. Two of them are awesome and great, especially since they just met each other. Like, they don't have a long history of being friends before the selection begins. It's just kind of developing as they're going along. And it's fun to watch. And I would hope that I would have a friend that would back me up as much as Eric and Henry do each other. Yeah. I mean, who else really has a best friend that they can take on a date with a princess with them. And it would work out as well as Henry's dates with Edlin, honestly. The next on my list is Owen and Rod from the Enchanted Ink series by Shauna Swenson. They both work at the same magical company, MSI Inc. Um, Rod works in personnel and Owen is one of the top researchers designing the spells and magic that the company sells. What I really love about these two is the fact that they've been best friends for seemingly forever and how awkward Owen can be socially and how Rod tries to help him uh, and interact and keep things normal, especially as we find out that Owen is incredibly powerful and a really strong wizard. And I love how Rod just kind of takes it all in stride. I mean, they have their problems and Rod has some insecurities and their relationship isn't always perfect, but they are awesome together. Gather, like backing each other up 
they're just fun to watch. Like, I genuinely think that Owen and Rod are one of the best parts of the series. The other part being Katie and Owen. Seriously, who wouldn't want to be best friends with these guys? So my last pick is the first one that popped into my mind. And honestly, it made picking the others really hard because what other friendships can possibly, possibly measure up to these two? So my pick is Will and Jem from the Infernal Devices series by Cassandra Clare. Oh my gosh, the two of these together are perfect. So Will and Jem are both shadow hunters. Their job is to fight demons and other crazy supernatural bad guys that are trying to harm humans and other shadow hunters. First off, the two of them together as a fighting pair is amazing. Like the two of them are what's called a pair of body. So they are basically really, really, really strongly bonded blood brothers. Like forever. They've got each other back. This is a lifetime commitment. They consider it more serious than like marriage in this world. Like this is dead on. Like they're always going to have each other's back. So part of what makes them awesome is like seeing them actually fight demons and stuff together. Like the way that they work off of each other and how aware they are of where the other person is and knowing each other's strengths and weaknesses. It's wonderful. Like I'm not normally a person who loves fight scenes. But watching Jem and Will fight is something else entirely. And then we have the personal relationship between Will and Jem where, like, Will is this character who is so closed off and doesn't trust anybody. And the one person he does let in and trust is Jem and, like, trusts him so completely. So on the actual personal friendship side of this, we've also got how strong Will and Jem, like, their friendship is and how much they care for each other and how much they are willing to sacrifice for the other person's health and well-being and happiness and I just I love it so much. Part of it is like they've spent quite a bit of time together so they know each other really well but then there's things like Will and Jem both giving up the thing that they want most in the world for the other one. So those were my top five picks for my favorite bromances in books. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites are and if you disagree with any of the picks that I chose. Let me know that too. Peace out. I love you guys and keep reading. Bye.